Hello everyone, uh, I am Sayed from itlearn.us. Uh, I am going to give you a tutorial how to create a sales order in um, SAP. This is a uh, series of video to learn SAP SD. And uh, let's start from here now. So, to create sales order, the T code for that T code is transaction code VA01. So, let's start from here. VA01 transaction code enter now this is a standard order is OR we are going to use and OR is the standard order provided by SAP we can change it and we can work around it but right now we just going to work with the OR we press enter and actually so you have to put the sales area of information is sales organization distribution channel and division so press enter now here uh, sold to party ship to party information we're going to put before that um, let me give you some brief overview um, in any document in SAP there's a three parts to every document header information item information and schedule line um, so where is header where is item we don't know so let me explain you this information from all item data from all above is, is header information uh, actually I can just uh, uh, create this real quick and put it in the file so everybody would know where this header is so so okay this is the header data of sales document okay now Let's take a look with this item data. Anything above below this all item information is item data. So let me make this real quick. And this document will be available to anybody to go to website and get this and learn from it and uh, and use this file. Okay. So now there is another part to the document is the schedule line schedule line data so let's see where is schedule line um, let's before we go to the schedule line let me explain you how to go there first we're gonna put uh, 1032 before without putting this I cannot go there so p dash what I'm doing is putting a sold to party customer number and material number and putting a quantity on that. I'm just gonna press enter. And uh, <coughs> now information some po information just populated by itself because of the uh, customization we have done in this bag. So in later video we will explain how this has happened. So but right now I'm gonna go to the double click on this up here to go to the schedule line. Uh, there is a uh, item data there's a bunch of tabs and one of the tabs there is schedule line and it's just taking its time to process okay this is schedule line alrighty so let me just take a screenshot of that too as well so copy okay now we have all of the di three parts of the sales order and uh, let's go back from there so if you want to see detailed information about each of the section of the documents you can click on any of any of these places up here and it will take you to the header information let's suppose I'm going to double click up here and it will take me to the header data there's different tabs and information in there you can take a look for header information of the document I'll go back and this is item information I will click on that and we will see as we just have seen it before sales A, sales B, shipping um, 
different information in there so I'm gonna go back up here and uh, to save a sales document we're just gonna click on up here save before I do that let me show you one more trick how to go to the header information and item and schedule line you can go to we can click on this up here button up here go to header in header we can go to particular tab you're looking for to go go there and we can go to item and we can go to item information and uh, there's a schedule line it's easier way to go there to schedule line and uh, also there is uh, one more uh, piece of information about uh, let me just save this first okay save the sales order and it's asking us to complete there's something in complete in sales order okay so anything that's incomplete you're gonna get message like this I'm gonna edit this and it's telling me but this order number is not entered so I'm gonna go back one more time and purchase order number one two three four whatever number you get from the purchasing purchase order number so let's enter and save your uh, sales order have been saved is one two two eight seven now to uh, to change sales order to view sales order is VA03 and to change sales order is VA02 T code so uh, we are going to try that slash and uh, slash and for to current un uh, current session and start new session so VA03 is automatically picking up the last order we have created so just press enter and is showing us the sales uh, we can see that in the uh, display standard order okay so there's another way to do it it is you can click up here sales document you can also create change so instead of remembering uh, extra t codes you can go from here and uh, do it from here as well and save you some time so I'm gonna click on change press enter and will bring back to me to change screen so I can go ahead and put change the sales order and save it and it's already have been saved uh, there's more videos going to come and please uh, subscribe leave a comment questions I am going to uh, add some more information to the document and put it on the website on itlearn.us for everybody to download and and learn from it for learning purposes thank you for watching thank you